Yeah. Well, you know, flow is kind of a paradox. And so there's an element of surrender and there's also an element of action and intentional, you know, and, and you could even say control too. And so you're kind of balanced, like that's, that's where kind of the inner and outer flow comes into the picture because there's two core aspects, living flow, inner flow, and outer flow. And inner flow is really about how you're creating your reality, whether you're aware of it or not, through your different perceptions and your emotional state and so on, your beliefs and your emotional state. And so that's kind of the level of control that we have where we kind of, you know, I guess if you look at that leaf, maybe having a little motor on it, you know, or a little sail that can kind of guide it around the river, right? And maybe even take it onto the bank for a little bit if it wants to. And so we have the ability in large part to really set the context for our experiences in life. And at the same time, you know, outer flow is more about following intuition and following some of these other different principles. And in that case, you know, a lot of that is about more about surrender because we're surrendering to our intuitive guidance, which is this higher aspect of ourselves. But these two things aren't independent. So there's this aspect where we're controlling, but we're also surrendering to intuition. So it kind of creates this really interesting weave where you do get periods of acceleration and slowing down. But at the same time, you know, you have an ability to, to either engage the speeding up if you want or engage the slowing down. And, you, you know, there's definitely a dynamic uh, element to it. Mm-hmm.